Okay, so today we're going to get into using 3D Fog in the Fusion tab in DaVinci Resolve 15. So let's go. All right, so we're going to start with just creating a new composition. So we're going to go in and just generate a blank background to start. And we're going to make sure that we have this at seven seconds. I'm just going to key that in and slide out my timeline. Right click and make this a new compound clip. Call it 3D Fog. And we can we can create this uh, clip, this compound clip also in the Fusion tab, but I still like doing it the old way. So I'm going to select that clip and go into the Fusion tab. Okay, so we just have our basic setup now and I'm going to go ahead and break that connection, pull this out of the way, set up my arrange to tools to grid so we can keep things organized. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I have some more real estate there. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to create just some objects that are, that are in our scene and so we can get some depth and we'll, we'll set up a camera rig and then be able to pan through that. So I'm going to start with just creating a, uh, a shape 3D. And I just want that to be a plane. And I will also create a blend. So I'm going to shift spacebar, type in blend, hit add. And I'm going to connect those two together. And so I'll just make two more copies of, of those. Control C. Paste them over here. Okay. So now I want to tie in three images into, um, these are basically going to be 3D billboards. And so I'm going to grab a couple of images. I'll pull them over here. And I want to connect these media points into the color material, um, the color input. But if you just drag and drop it, it will bring it in. It's actually this one here, the diffuse color. Okay, so if I want to visualize any of those, just bring it up into the window. And... I need to make these connections first so we can see things. Okay, so I will adjust this. Let me adjust this real fast here. Go to the scale and we'll unlock the X, Y, Z. Bump up the X a little bit more. Okay, that looks pretty good. Same for this one. Okay, so those look pretty good. And so also I'm going to put a, a 3D merge into place here. And everything's gonna connect into this scene, into this merge. And so I can go ahead and start connecting these objects. And so if I want to look at the merge, they're all kind of sitting on top of each other right now. So I want to slide these around a little bit. And to do that, I'm going to go into my camera view. I'm going to look at the top view. And so we can see they're kind of all right on top of each other. And so I'm going to slide these around a little bit. So let's go back to front view or perspective view. And I want to put in a 3D camera into the scene. Connect that into the merge as well. Let's take a look at that. And I'm just holding in the alt key and the middle mouse button to kind of rotate. I'm going to zoom back by holding in the control key. 
So I want to move my camera back a bit. Okay, so we have these three billboards now into place and I want to add a little bit of 3D text just to add a little bit of depth to the scene as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple pieces in here. And we're just going to call this 3D Fog. I'm going to pick the November. I will make it yellow. Okay. And I'm going to change this one to let's call it depth. Same thing, November and yellow. So now I can tie in these two pieces of 3D text into our 3D merge. Going back to the camera view, the top view. Gonna move these around a little bit. Okay, and I also want to put an image plane in the background to kind of give us really that that feel. So this image plane, I'm just going to make it pretty simple. I'm gonna make it a yellow color. I also want to scale this up quite a bit, so I'm going to select the scale and I'm going to make it 400. And so if we look at our 3D here, it's going to look like the whole scene is just yellow. And so it's just got an image plane here on the back. So that just gives it a little bit of depth. Actually, I'm going to change that to a blue. That yellow is really bothering me. Okay, so now we can go ahead and put in our 3D render. I'm going to take that output from the 3D merge and put it into the 3D render. I'll go ahead and connect this into the media out, so I'm going to want to do that later. Okay, so now I want to put in our fog. So we'll just introduce a 3D fog. There's three kinds of fog in here, and, and I'm going to cover the actual fog, just the 2D fog and the 3D fog. So I'll do the 3D fog first, and then I'm going to show you quickly how to use the 2D fog. It's a lot more easy to use. And so here's our fog. And so to get this fog to work, we need to do something first. Um, this fog needs to have input data from our 3D scene, and so... We're actually going to pipe in the 3D merge into the fog and then that output of the fog into the 3D render. And so right now, uh, not a lot happened because I'm still on my 3D merge. If I pull in my render over on the left side here, we'll be able to start seeing the fog. And so this is just picking up the camera view. And we have some settings in the fog. So I'm going to select the fog. And there are a couple of different options. And we have the linear option. And so this is going to give a range of the fog distance. And we also have an exponential and an exponential 2. So an exponential is, is a pretty good just setup of a traditional fog. And you can see that affected it immediately. And I want to call the exponential 2 is more of a heavier fog. And so we can bump up the density up to 1. Let's go back here. That's already on 1. So the exponential 2 is just a little thicker fog. Um, it, it actually doesn't seem like it there, but um, in reality it is. And the linear fog, it, it's based on a fog distance. So this wider range you're not going to see a whole lot and if we bump these down to a lower range you can get thicker and thicker so that's kind of interesting um, but really what what i want to show you is the depth of this this fog itself so if we pull in our camera here so now that we have this rig set up and we have our fog set up into our scene we can just use the camera pan to basically go through the scene and start hitting these objects 
and we can experience what the, the fog is going to give us. And so as we get deeper into the scene, we start to see the fog dissipate and we start seeing our images a lot clearer. And as we get further away, we can really see that fog effect take, take place. And that's on the linear setting. So I'll show you the difference on the exponential one. And so this is just a light fog. It's a good pre-setting for a bigger scene like this. But you can see as we get closer to the, the back there, um, everything's a little bit cleaner. And we have to get quite a bit further away to start seeing these, these things disappear. So the exponential two, you can see that's a lot heavier fog. And so it's gone right away. And the GPU is kicking in a little bit more. So it gives it a nice effect as well. So that is the 3D fog. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the, the 2D fog. And so I'm just gonna use one of these, these image lines here. I'll break the connection to the 3D merge. I'll slide these out so we can work with them a little bit better. Switch the camera to the front view here. Okay, so what I wanna do is introduce a 2D fog. So I'm gonna press shift space fog. Okay, so what we need to do is we have this connection made and we need to set our view to the fog or further down the line here. Um, so I'm just gonna just set our left view on fog one. And so as this is selected in our, our inspector panel, we have some different options here as far as color, Z near plane, Z far plane, and Z scale, and then these colors and opacity. So this is just going to introduce a fog view onto the top of this, this image that we have piped into the fog one. And so the Z near plane and Z far plane are really kind of the range that you're going to see the fog. So as we change these settings, we can get more um, density of our fog, similar to the 3D fog. And we can change the color of the fog and we can we can do some kind of neat effects if we just want to select different um, color channels. We can really get some really cool effects here by turning some of these off and on individually. And so those are kind of interesting to get different effects uh, just with the fog itself. And so we can make those adjustments. So it, it's kind of like color correcting, but it, it gives it a kind of a fog feel and you can obviously turn the opacity on or off or adjust the color of the fog itself right with these RGB values here and we can also use this picker tool to select a fog color directly on the screen if we want to pick something we have already in the scene and so that gives us some different options so this is kind of neat as well um, the 3D fog obviously is going to be more helpful for your 3D scenes um, but this 2D fog kind of can give you some different effects as well. So give that a shot. Hopefully this fog tutorial will help you get started with 2D and 3D fog. And if you guys like this video, please subscribe and say something in the comments. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, I'll try to get those answered in the actual comments as well. So thanks for watching.